What's going on guys, how's it going? This is Tyler here and today I'm bringing you a brand new video on how to make thumbnails. Now, first off, I'm going to have a disclaimer here. Photoshop Touch is going to be the main thing that you are going to be using in this tutorial and Photoshop Touch is no longer in the App Store. Now, there are a few ways you can get it. You can either get it from a friend that already has it downloaded. Uh, you can get his Apple ID and he, he can let you download it because, I mean, it's off the App Store. There's not going to be any more updates, so you can get it from him or from her. Or you can download vShare, which is like a, a third-party way of getting apps. Uh, I don't recommend it because it is a virus zone and uh, sort of illegal in a way. Uh, but you can also get it from there. But uh, if you already have it downloaded, this is a tutorial for you. So... The only two apps that I use are Fonto and Photoshop Touch. Fonto is how you're going to get your text. Photoshop Touch is how you're going to make it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Fonto and go ahead and get my text. I'm going to show you guys uh, how I do my text. Um, so I go in here, I click the camera button, click plain image. I go ahead and choose the black one uh, and then click use. So once you're in here, you just want to click and add text and we're going to type in how to make uh, and then we're gonna go into font and then the font that I usually use you want to kind of keep the same font throughout all of your like thumbnails and stuff like that you don't want to you know keep changing up your fonts um, you pretty much want them all to flow uh, so let's see uh, which one do I use I completely forgot I changed and now I completely forgot I believe it's in the D area yeah right here Dukeville um, so you want to go ahead and do that and I blow it up all the way kind of like oh I kind of center it uh, like like that how to make there we go and then you go into style so I and then you add all, all the way at the bottom it says create color pattern so it depends on what color pattern you want I'm gonna have blue accents so let's go ahead and go with uh, a light blue and then a darker blue and then click up here at the top and go to vertical so there you go uh, and that's pretty much how you do your text I'm gonna go ahead and apply that and then go to stroke and then you want the stroke to be the same size but you want the stroke to be the uh, the color of the top the top gradient so your light blue so you want to go ahead and apply that there you go <clears throat> So uh, now you want to go ahead and add your second text, uh, how to make, and then we're going to do a C ops thumbnail is what it's going to be, a C ops thumbnail. Oh, I don't know how to spell. Oh, whoa, 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 there we go, a C ops thumbnail. So now we can go ahead and make this small and make sure it is centered and make sure that it is like the same size as your text, like... I don't know how to explain that really. Oh, oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Oh, okay. I st I'm still moving it. Can I? There we go. There we go. Um, about right there. I should be good. All right. Uh, so you want to go back into style, and usually the the main like what 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 you want to draw people in. Uh, what you want pretty much the main title to be. You want the colors. You want to go down to create color pattern again, and you want the colors to be like yellow and then a really dark orange like that uh, so it kind of just pops and the, this color blue and this color orange definitely blends together they look the best in my opinion and most of my thumbnails actually have these same <laughs> color patterns so you want to choose uh, there you go and then there's your text all right a long tutorial for a text but I'm sorry that's how I make it so then I'll go to save image uh, and boom that's it no I don't want to rate it uh, now you're gonna go into Photoshop touch so what you want the background image to be is if you're playing Seops or whatever game you're playing, um, let's go into here and then we can delete all of this. Uh, we'll keep that. And so wh whatever game you're playing, you kind of want to screenshot that that game, whatever you're playing. So I was I went ahead and I went into a game and screenshotted me inspecting my AK. Um, so you want to blow this up. Uh, about there is good. And there you go. There you go. So what I usually do is I change the saturation, make it make it very colorful, whatnot. Um, we'll change the contrast and the brightness just so it pops out a little bit. There we go. 
Uh, and then the next thing you want to do is duplicate this. Now this is pretty much a little more advanced. Not, not everybody has to do this. Uh, but this is how I kind of cut my... This is going to take a little while, so I may skip through this. But this is how I pretty much cut the guns and stuff out. So I go to, I go to the little... Uh, pencil tool whatever that is little razor blade thing and go all the way down to show pointer and then you want to go right in here and go to the polygon selection tool so what you want to do is just start tapping don't tap too fast or it will like cancel it out and you just want to tap all the way around all the way around the character There we go guys, I have gone all the way around the character, kind of outlined him, and now now that you've outlined your character, you want to go up to that uh, selection tool thing again, the little razor blade or pencil, whatever that is, and click extract. Uh, then you want to go ahead and hide the pointer, uh, and then you can go to the magic wand tool and click deselect, there we go. Now, uh, usually I haven't cut out uh, like in between, like, oh, well in between the gun, I'm going to try to, in between here like all in here. I haven't cut all of that out. Um, and I'm not going to in this video because it's just a quickie tutorial. Uh, so now that you've selected your gun, uh, now if you do like a glow or something on it, there you go, see, it's just around the gun. So what I usually do is I go to fill and stroke and then go to stroke uh, and take the stroke down to about two. So there you go, there you go, boom, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, and then what you can do is you can go and you can either do like a black glow and then take the intensity down just so it's kind of like a shadow. You don't want it really intense. You don't want the shadows just really intense. Um, I guess that would be good, I guess. That right there. So we'll leave it like that. Now what you want to do is go to photo layer and add another one and add your text. So there you go. What you want to do is you want to go to the magic wand tool, select the black, go up here and click cut. Now you want to go ahead and just cut out all in the middle areas uh, of your letters. And if I'm going too fast, pretty much, I'm, I'm, I mean, I apologize, uh, but this really isn't a beginner's tutorial. This is going through and showing people that already know kind of like how to make thumbnails. Uh, they just don't know exactly like different uh, techniques to use. So I'm just showing how I make mine. A lot of people have asked me how I make my thumbnails and I'm just giving a uh, tutorial on how I do so. So if I'm going too fast, I am so, so sorry. Um, this is more of a, a uh, advanced, I guess you could say, tutorial. So now that you have your text cut out, uh, what I like to do to add a little more spice is I like to duplicate and then select it and move it down just a little bit. Now, this is a whole po like this is a very popular thing where people like to duplicate it like four different times and put it behind it. Uh, I don't like to do that. Okay, I just like to duplicate it one time. I kind of make it a 3D effect look, I guess. And then I like to take the brightness. Uh, let's make the contract zero. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. And then I like to take the brightness down to about uh, about 80 something. So it, I don't know, just just really low color. So it just kind of puts like a 3D effect onto it. Um, and then you want to go back to the first text and put bevel. Now, uh, bevel just adds a little more spice to it, you know. Uh, and then I take the blur down to about 2, like right there. That's, that's good for me. Um, and then I move them down. I merge it down. Now I usually put a black... Uh, a black bl uh, glow around my text, just so, once again, it pops out a little more. And then I put... Uh, like a drop shadow. I put a drop shadow, I put the angle at like 120, 125 or whatever, uh, and then I kind of, I don't really mess with the blur, but the direction, I kind of like take it out a bit, and then take the opacity down just a tiny bit, just so it's not too dark. So there you go. Now you have a text. So what I do with my text uh, is I kind of angle it like this, and I put it up in the corner, uh, like over here at the corner, usually, like this is pretty much what I usually do all the time. Um, and I'll leave it like that. So the next thing you want to do is go to the little and symbol and click warped and Then you want to this little button right there that little X button with the whole bunch of arrows You want to click on that and kind of kind of stretch it out a little bit and see it's kind of like making it like the bubble effect or something like it's kind of popping out uh, You don't want to do it too much and there you go. It kind of just makes your text kind of like bubble out a bit um, You don't want it too intense uh, not too intense. You just want it to kind of 
add a little sp spice, I guess, to your text. Uh, so you can leave it like that, whatever. Uh, you can move, or you can, you know, uh, you can play around with warped a little bit. You can make it like go up and down, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do with your text. You can make it happen with warped. And that is pretty much what I do. That's pretty much all I do. Um, sometimes I like to take the saturation up on the text so it pops out even more. Sometimes I like to put the gun in front of the text. It depends on what type of video I am making. Uh, in this case, the gun would uh, cover up the text. So if I wanted to, I can make it smaller, make the gun smaller. Um, so it is kind of like, let's make it a little bit bigger. Make it a little bit bigger so it is kind of covering up some of the text just so it gives it a little more spice and then you see it's not lined up with the gun in the background so what you could do is you could just blur the background blur the background a little bit there you go just blur it there you go boom uh, and then to add even more spice uh, let's put the text above that thing right there above the little outline thing so it looks like the text is coming out at you uh, the uh, the last thing that you want to do is have like what is it called a sunburst effect um, or Starburst or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this is called, but you can find it on Google. You can find it on Safari. Uh, and then you want to just overlay. Just boom. Overlay. Um, now you can change the color. I'm going to change the color. Change the tint. And since we're going with blue, I'm going to change it to a blue color. There we go. Uh, and then I want to blow it up and put it where it kind of looks like the like it's exploding out from behind the text. So there you go. That's what you want to do. And now you can fool around with this as well. You can multiply, you can lighten, overlay, whatever you want to do. Uh, just to add a little spice to your thumbnail. So this is how I make my CEOPS thumbnails, guys. Uh, this is how I make all my thumbnails. This is just my little technique. Uh, so fool around with it. Don't do, I mean, you can do mine exactly. You can copy this like exactly to the T of how I'm doing it. Uh, but... I recommend you just getting on Photoshop Touch, if you do have it, if you are able to get it, playing around with it a little bit, and uh, kind of getting your own little style of thumbnails. And yeah, because, I don't know, just kind of find your own style and go with it. So anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy, this is how I make my thumbnails. Uh, if you do want other little tutorials like how, I don't know, in depth on how to make different types of, or do little types of things in Photoshop Touch, let me know. But overall, I just hope this helped you guys out a little bit. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.